Welcome to chapter four, project one of Automate the Boring Stuff. Um, I'll be going through comma code and then I'll move on to character picture grid. Um, I'll probably make two separate videos for this. Uh, first off, we have comma code. Um, we want to have a program that takes uh, a list value as an argument and return the string with punctuation. Uh, with and inserted before the last item. So it will print apples, comma, bananas, comma, tofu, comma, and cats. But you want it to work with any uh, value for the list. So if there's one, one list value, so if it's just apples, you don't want comma and randomly after it or before. Uh, so you're going to need to use a couple if and l if statements. Um, we're going to start off with uh, creating the definition of comma code. So we'll go def code list value, and we'll set cheese as a random variable to a blank string. And we're going to start adding some of the if statements. So we want to start off uh, going in order. I will go if length uh, list value is equal to or equivalent to zero. So there's nothing in there and it's a blank list that you're trying to run through comma code, it will print Your list is not valid. L if now we want to uh, return a single uh, value list. So if there's only one item, we don't want to add any punctuation or ands to it. So we'll do L if uh, length list value is equivalent to one, we will return a list value. And we'll take the, uh, the value of placement or index zero. Now we're going to do it again moving down in uh, in how it would change uh, for punctuation. If there is two values, you have to put an and and no comma. So we're going to do L if length of list value is equivalent to two, we will return list value index zero, concatenate, and space, concatenate, list value, uh, negative one. So that will return the first and second values in a uh, list value. So if you had dog, cat, it would be dog and cat. No need for commas in here because there's only two values. Now we need to do an elif statement for if there is more than two values. So we'll do len list value is greater than two. Now we implement a for loop for i in range length of list value. But we want to take every value up to, but not including the uh, last value because we want to put and space in front of it. So we'll do negative, uh, negative one. So I'll take every value except for the last one and we'll set it to cheese 
plus equals. So that's the same as doing cheese equals cheese plus uh, list value index i. So that will iterate through each index except for the last one. And then we'll concatenate a comma space. Now we're going to want to exit out of the for loop and take the last uh, last list value and add it to the cheese uh, list. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. Cheese plus equals uh, take and space concatenate that with the last list value. I negative one and then will return cheese. So now down here, after we have defined this function, we want to uh, create a list. So we'll do take a new list and add it to spam. And then we'll do cheese equals and we'll call comma code and put spam in it. And then afterwards we will print cheese. Now this is important to learn. Um, at the very start, it's um, we're focusing more on keeping things simple um, because there is a lot thrown at you in the very beginning of, the, uh, of learning Python. But we don't want to ingrain into our heads that um, functions like this are meant to print stuff. Uh, we will usually be using functions like this to return a specific value um, in a long line of code. Uh, so we don't have to keep repeating these same uh, lines of code throughout. So we can just do this in a small version further down the list. But if we were to, instead of using return, and we were to assign that to cheese and then say print cheese, we wouldn't be able to use any of the data that this returns in a different line of code other than to print. Because printing just prints it on the shell but it doesn't actually return a usable value. So using return and setting it to cheese, then I could do all sorts of stuff with the punctuated, uh, the punctuated list values. So now when we print cheese, it will do dog, comma, space, cat, comma, space, and space, bat. So this looks like a normal sentence. Now, if we were to just do, change this to a lowercase, dog and cat, um, that means we messed up. We need to add a space here. So it's always good to look through each of your um, possibilities and test it for stuff like this. So now that we added the space in front of the and over here, we'll print dog and cat properly. Now let's try it with just one value. Just prints dog, no extra punctuations or ands. And then if it's a blank list, your list is not valid. Now that is one thing. Um, we should not have the print. We should have return Return. Let's try that. There we go. See how uh, the none value was set to cheese? That's because when you use a print function, 
the value is none. And that's a perfect example of why we should use return instead of print inside functions like that. Because now it gives me a usable value for cheese. Perfect. And that is comma code. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.